So there's a slant height of one half x plus one. And there is a radius of two x plus three. Now we have to understand what uh, the surface area is equal to. And the surface area is equal to the area of the base plus the area of the faces or the side, right? Now with this cylinder, or no, this cone, I'm sorry, we have this shape, right? And then if we cut it, we know that the top is a triangle, okay? So what's the area of a triangle? One half base times height, right? And in our case, it's the slant height. Okay? So what we're talking about is the area of a triangle plus the area, sorry, area of a circle, pi r squared, right? And so to do that, I need to go, okay, well, I have pi times 2x plus 3 squared, because that's our r, right? Plus 1 half the base, and the base, what is the base of this triangle? And it goes, that's the base, right? If we take a look at that triangle, right? It's the circumference of that circle, right? The base of that triangle is actually the circumference of the circle. So it's 2 times 2 x plus 3. Okay. So what is the cir circumference of the circle, right? So to know the base is equal to... Uh, the circumference, which is equal to d pi, right? And d is equal to 2r pi, right? So it's really 1 half times 2r, what's r? 2x plus 3 pi, right? times the slant height. And the slant height is 1 half x plus 1. That's a, that's a, big, that's a big equation. Okay? Now, there's a rule for these squares. And we could do it. We could say it's 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. And we say, what's 2x times 2x? 4x squared. What's 2x times 3? 6x. What's 3 times 2? 6x, right? And then what's 3 times 3? And so what we get here is 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And then all of that is multiplied by pi. So then we get 4x squared pi plus 12x pi plus 9 pi. And then we're going to add that equation to that other big one. Okay? And there is a trick to that. Now, if you think about it, what's, what's 2x squared? 4x squared, right? What's 3 squared? 9. What's 2 times 3? 6. 6 times 2? 12. And that's how you can do a little trick on squares, okay? Because there's lots of squares we'll be dealing with, okay? So perfect squares, perfect squares can be written as square, square, this times this times this. So it's a little trick you can use. All right.
we still got some stuff to do. Yeah? What's half of two? One. Well, that's not bad. So then it's just, what's pi times this and this? Well, that would be 2x pi plus 3 pi, right? Times x half, 1 half x plus 1. Does that make sense? So that's not too bad. That turned out a lot better than I thought. All right. So then we got to do everybody on the block gets a paper. What's two times a half? One? Oh, this is not going to be. Why did it just turn out harder than before? base times height. Oh, oh, looks like we're doing it right, so let's just do it. Alright, well what's half of two? And x times x, so that'd be one x squared pi. Right? And then this would just be plus two x pi. But then what's one half of three? That would be plus three halves of pi of x pi. And then three times three pi is that would be plus three pi. Right? Did I set that up wrong? Yes. One half base times height. The base is the perimeter, it's the x. The base is two. R pi, 2R pi, okay, and uh, one half of 2 is 1, so we're left with the 2X3, so 2X pi plus 3 pi, okay, and then times the slant height, which is 1 half, I think we forgot this half the last time, didn't we? Because we didn't have the three halves pi, did we? I don't remember that being there. No. Nevertheless, this would be three and one half x pi, right? This is x squared pi, and this is plus 3 pi, right? And we're adding that to this. So 4x squared pi plus 12x pi plus 9 pi. And so what we would get is 5x squared pi plus 15 and 1 half x pi plus 12 pi, right? And that would be your surface area. Now is, what kind of polynomial is that? That would be a quadratic. How many pieces? Trinomial. Much better, 43, a little cleaner, a little slower.